Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this set of four videos, I'm going to explain to you that how can you create a pivot table? How can you format a pivot table? And how can you slice and dice the data in a pivot table? But not in Excel. We're going to do all of this in Power BI. And we'll also be exploring different similarities and differences that are there in the Excel versus Power BI. And I'll also be talking about a couple of new features that are there in Power BI pivot tables, which are not there in Excel. Let's get started. Now in Excel, uh, let's say we have this data. We, we have date, sales rep, customer amount, profit in the region. Uh, pretty straightforward data set. And if you would like to create a pivot table from this, you would go to the insert tab and then click on a pivot table. Alternatively, you could also use the shortcut Alt N and V and then create a pivot table. And you get this nice little pivot table where you can drag and drop. So let's say maybe I'd like to have year wise representation of the regions. So I drag that and I drag the amount and I have year wise representation of the region. So I just take off the date. I take off this and I have year wise representation of the regions. So let me just expand that and I expand the field and I have year wise representation of the amount, which is my sales. Now, how do you do similar stuff in Power BI? Let's just take a look. So if you just take a look, I have similar data loaded into Power BI, which is the same data and I hop over to the visualization tab or the report tab and notice that there are two visuals here, the table and the matrix. Now often people confuse the table with a pivot table, but table is not a pivot table. Matrix is actually uh, similar to a pivot table uh, in Excel. So why don't we create a matrix here? It's a blank matrix. And as soon as I create a matrix, take a look that we have rows, columns and the values similar to what you have in Excel. Now I'm just going to drag my amount to values and I'm going to drag my date to the rows and I'm also going to drag my region to my rows and I have a pivot table created. Now I don't need the quarter month and the day. I'm just going to delete that and just have the year. Now you can take a look that although you can see the year, but you can't see the region. So how do you expand that? Like the way we expanded, you can see that there are double arrows here. So if I click that, I have expanded the pivot table. Now, as of now, the, the pivot table is fairly small in size. So I'm going to hop over to the format tab and increase the size of the fonts. So in the grid, I will just uh, maybe increase the size of the, the fonts to maybe 12 so that you can see that nice and clean. All right, so that's how you create a pivot table in uh, Power BI, which is the matrix visualization. And you can drag and drop the items in rows, columns, and the values. In the next video, I'm going to teach you that how can you format the pivot table like the way you do it in Excel in Power BI. Stay tuned to this and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.